flying cars will change the game in 2023. People have been interested in the idea of flying cars for decades. The idea of flying above the traffic and crowds of city streets has always been exciting, and it has been shown in many different kinds of media, from science fiction books to movies set in the future. But really, is that even possible? Hey guys, welcome to our channel, Fast Forward. In today's episode, we are going to tell you about how flying cars are going to challenge the world in 2023. So, let's dig in. Zipeng Aerot, a Chinese company, has had two of its cars making their first public flights in the past few months. In October, a 90-second test was done over Dubai's famous Palm Jumeirah Island. In November, a similar test was done in Guangzhou, China. Both were important events for the company as it is still in its initial times, and it is backed by Zipeng Inc., which makes electric vehicles. Xiaopeng, the electric vehicles company founder and a billionaire, along with the other company's backers, are betting that they will be able to get a hold on all the obstacles and get a piece of the $1 trillion market, which could change the way people travel. The flying car is approaching reality, and we think it was the right time to chip in. Zipeng president Brian Gu made a statement on the sidelines of the Dubai event called Gitex. The industry has produced a lot of technical breakthroughs, from weight reduction to obstacle avoidance and electrification. The prototype of the Aerot stood out among the others when it was flown in Guangzhou. The majority of electric vehicle takeoff and landing aircraft do not have wheels and hence cannot be driven around the ground. These aircraft are known as EVTOLs, whereas this Chinese company's sixth generation model is a flying car that can also be driven on the road. The vehicle is designed to spend more than 90% of its time being driven on the road, and it will only take to the air in situations where there are obstacles or traffic jams. According to the company's creator Zhao, Mass production of the vehicles, which feature four electric engines and eight propellers, would begin in the year of 2025. He believes that it will be approximately $140,000 US, which is far cheaper than Joby's vehicle, which costs $1.3 million US. According to him, this is possible for Aerot since the company has access to Zipeng's board network of suppliers located across China. Without a doubt, the technology has not been developed to its fullest potential. The ability of batteries to retain more energy per unit of mass will determine many different aspects of the world. Because flying cars demand more power and are more sensitive to loads, the batteries that will be used in flying cars will need to be lighter and more powerful than those used in electric vehicles. At this time, lab batteries sourced from domestic manufacturers are utilizing the production of prototypes by Aerot. The technology to create flying automobiles is more developed than we know, not just Zipang Aerot but there are a number of companies all around the world that are doing hard work developing prototypes and have even completed successful tests. With the $67 million in funding it just received, the Japanese flying car startup SkyDrive is hastening the development of its electric vehicle takeoff and landing or EVTOL aircraft. The company plans to make its first commercial flight by the time the World Expo is held in Osaka in the year 2005. If SkyDrive is successful at the World Expo in Osaka, the company plans to expand internationally and make an effort to generate revenue in India by March 2027. The traffic congestion that is so common in India's big cities provides the business with an opportunity for growth there. In addition to SkyDrive, the business Alf Aeronautics, which is financed by an investor in Tesla, claims to start delivering its $300,000 flying car to clients by the year 2025. SkyDrive was developed by Tesla. Reports indicate that this vehicle is capable of vertical takeoff into the air and can fly in a manner comparable to a helicopter for up to 110 kilometers on a single charge. Using Zapta's Jet Racer flying automobile, it's possible that by the year 2023, people will be able to fly over the skies of a variety of cities in the United States. The company has the goal of making their vehicles available for rental to the general public in the same manner as individuals rent jet skis and all-terrain vehicles or ATVs for recreational purposes. Safety is a big worry that needs to be addressed as the technology is for flying automobiles continues to make tremendous strides forward. It is essential to guarantee that flying cars are as risk-free as they possibly can be before they are made available to the general public. Despite the fact that the prospect of soaring above the traffic and congestion of city streets is fascinating. When assessing the risk posed by flying cars, there are a number of different considerations to take into account. For instance, there is a possibility of technical malfunction or a collision while the aircraft is in flight. There are also concerns over air traffic control and the possibility of mid-air crashes with other aircrafts or flying cars. It is crucial for firms that are creating flying cars to prioritize safety in their designs and to undergo thorough testing to guarantee that their vehicles are as safe as possible. This will allow them to address the issues that have been raised. 
When flying cars become more generally available, it may be important for governments to adopt rules and oversight in order to protect the public's safety with regard to the use of these vehicles. There was once an effort to develop flying vehicles, but it was abandoned due to a number of obstacles. Aerodyne Ventures, SDNBHD, the company responsible for developing the project, received RM20 million in funding from a public-private collaboration between the Milanese Industry Government Group for High Tech Technology in 2018, or ABSB. The announcement of the effort to create a flying car was made without appropriate planning and without telling the Malaysian cabinet, as was uncovered by the Public Accounts Committee, or PAC, of Parliament. PAC claims that Japan is the most suitable location for the concentration of the flying car prototype due to the country's advanced technological infrastructure and thriving ecosystem. On the other hand, Detuk Seri Mahud, Redzun Yusef, the Minister of Entrepreneur Development, claimed that the ABSB would construct the project utilizing the country's indigenous technologies. In addition, the PAC found that there was no regulations in place in Malaysia that govern the operation of flying cars or their monitoring. In the end, we want to ensure that flying cars are as risk-free as they possibly can be, that they can become a practical mode of transportation for everyone. Many people are counting on President Xi Jinping's campaign to replace American technology in a wide range of fields, from semiconductors to climate technology, in the hopes that this will lead to more funding and policy help. There are a few examples where American companies told us which sector is promising and can make money, and their Chinese counterparts just went and grabbed the market with low prices, said Warren Zhao an investor with decent capital and backer of TCAB Tech. He cited drones, hoverboards, and robot vacuums. It will be the same with the EVTOL and flying car industry. All of the venture capital firms that invest in Aerot, IDG Capital, Sequoia China, GGV Capital, and Hill House Capital agree with this assessment. They took part in a funding round in 2021 that was worth more than $500 million and valued the company at $1.5 billion. In 2020, Zhao finally got in touch with He, the founder of Zipang. After fighting for about 10 years to keep his company from going bankrupt, Zhao says that he was able to change the mind of the business owner by showing him something. Should we talk before we fly or fly before we talk? Zhao said that he spoke to He. First, take off. Since meeting in Dongguan, which is in the province of Guangdong, He and Zipang invested in Zhao's company and changed its name to Zipang Era. The company, which has its headquarters in Guangzhou and research and development labs in Shenzhen and Shanghai, has grown from about a dozen employees in 2020 to over 700 as of the month of July. It joins other companies that have gotten a lot of money, like Aeroflight, which is based in Shanghai and got $100 million from an investor in Europe in November of last year to build air taxis. Volan Aerotech was founded in June 2021, and so far in 2022, it has received more than $14 million in funding. There is no doubt that there is still room for technology to get better. A lot depends on finding ways to make batteries with a higher energy density, which is the amount of power they have compared to how much they weigh. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Stay tuned for more wonderful stuff. And don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our recent updates. Thank you for watching.